Earth is tilted 23 and a half degrees from the ecliptic, right? So the sunlight's rays come in and Earth is tilted 23 and a half degrees from that. What we're going to do here is show June 21st, beginning day of summer. Summer in the northern hemisphere, winter in the southern hemisphere, June 21st to September 21st. I have a protractor. I have a compass to draw the pretty circle. I have a nice transparent ruler to draw things properly. I have a blue pen, which I think functions, and I have a black pen, that one definitely functions, and I have a red pen, so we'll see what we can do here. What I need first is to draw the circle that is Earth. Gonna make it nice and big. This is gonna be the centerpiece of our diagram here. Here's my center. I wanna mark my center first so I have that available to me. There's my little center, and then I'm gonna line this thing up right here, and when drawing a circle using a compass. Hold on to this part right here. Press that into the page to make a definite point, solid point. And then rather than taking the compass and draw, moving that thing around, just leave that and kind of drag it, drag it as it just goes around. So here is our circle that is Earth. Nice pretty circle right there. We have the center. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, June, June 21st. So in this direction, we have the sun coming from here. So I've got sun coming from this direction, from the right in my diagram, from the right. This is the sunlight coming parallel. These are all parallel rays. And sunlight's coming in that direction just to show arrow, 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 arrow. Sun. So the sun is over here on this side of the diagram, illuminating this side, this side of Earth. <clears throat> so what we now have is we're going to draw a line, just a nice little black dotted line across the page, parallel to the two edges of that top and bottom of that page through that center point. Dotted line through the whole thing, showing the ecliptic, the plane that Earth sweeps out around the sun, or the plane that the sun sweeps out around Earth, depending on your perspective. Then, 23 and a half degrees, right? This is June 21st, June 21. So on June 21st, the sun, sorry, the northern pole is tilted most closely to the sun, 23 and a half degrees, maximum tilt toward. So I'm gonna measure this thing right here, line that up. Line up the bottom, see the line up that bottom, the zero and the 180, really carefully. And then from there I can measure 10, 20, 23 and a half. So 23, 24 degrees, mark that point right there. I can also do this. <clears throat> line up this 90 degree line and count 10, 20, 23 and a half. That gives me my axis. My axis I'm gonna draw from that center point that I've already marked through the mark that I have here, but just leave that here because the axis isn't shown on the surface. The axis goes through the center of this round ball-like object. This is the north, and this is the south. So north and south, those are my, well, that's my axis, axis of rotation of Earth. Now, perpendicular to that would be the equator right through the center again. So perpendicular to that, through the center, exactly the same thing, tilted 23 and a half degrees from perpendicular, from the ecliptic. And so 10, 20, 23 and a half degrees looks like right about there. And so from the center again, I'm going to draw my equator, dotted line across the page, 23 and a half degrees. Notice that the ecliptic goes across the entire page, but the equator only goes across the object. So there is my equator. You can set this thing off in different colors if you want to. That is the equator runs across the center. I'm going to use a different color for the Tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. Now the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn, 23 and a half degrees north latitude is the Tropic of Cancer, so I can measure. Uh, 10, 20, 23 and a half degrees. Oh, right there. That's the point that I'm looking for. That's it. And then 10, 20, 23 and a half degrees right there. Mark my 23 and a half degrees and then extend that imaginary line to the edge of Earth right here. If 
from the center to the 23 and a half degree mark to there. And then what I'm gonna do is connect those two marks at the edge here and there to there. That is going to be the Tropic of Cancer. 23 and a half degrees north latitude, the most northern point where the sun is directly overhead on June 21st. Okay, then Tropic of Capricorn, which on June 21st is the sun is at the lowest point on June 21st because it's in the southern hemisphere. 10, 20, 23 and a half right here. 10, 20, 23, oh, right here. That's my point again. And then extend this like that right there. And then draw across. These lines should be all parallel to each other. or very close to parallel because your measurement of angles isn't going to be perfect. So this is the Tropic of Cancer. Here, Cancer. <laughs> Here's the Tropic of Capricorn. And between those two points, those are the tropics from 23 and a half degrees north to 23 and a half degrees south. Those are the tropics. That whole region is called the tropics. At least on one day every year, usually two days everywhere, but the most northern and most southern points, sun is directly overhead directly overhead, like 90 degrees. Like at solar noon, you look straight up and there's the sun, like directly overhead. We in the Northern Hemisphere in uh, North America and Pittsburgh, we're at 41 degrees north latitude, well north of that. So the sun never goes directly overhead. Now, the Arctic Circle. Arctic Circle, well, uh, that is again, 23 and a half degrees, but 23 and a half degrees from the north. So I'm gonna line that thing up again, line up my line across and then count Here's my 90. Count 10, 20, 23 and a half degrees. Count 10, 20, 23 and a half degrees. And then extend my lines to the pole. Extend the lines to the pole right to here. And then extend my, sorry, to the surface of Earth, not to the pole. To there. And then this, that thing right there, and this is a weird perspective, but that is the That's the Arctic Circle. It's actually a pretty small amount of Earth. And it looks weird because you're always used to seeing the curvature. This is looking at this thing flat on, not in some other perspective where you would see curvature of any of these lines. <clears throat> and then do the exact same thing for the Antarctic Circle. Line this up with that red mark at the center and lined up 180 and zero degrees. And then 10, 20, 23 and a half degrees and 10, 20, 23 and a half degrees. <clears throat> Extend this from the center out to the edge, mark. Extend this from the center out to the edge, mark. Draw between those two lines right there. And that, that little section right there, this is the Arctic Circle. That line and that whole region. And this is the Antarctic. So there you go. That's how you draw those things. It's actually relatively simple. It shows two different angles based on the equator and the North and South Poles. And that explains the seasons. Again, June 21st, first day of summer in the Northern Hemisphere, first day of winter in the Southern Hemisphere. Sun stays at 23 and a half degrees above the, the horizon all day long. It just circles around at 23 and a half degrees above. And the sun isn't seen at the South Pole, nor anywhere in the Antarctic Circle. One sunrise per year at the North Pole, one sunset, sunset per year at the North Pole, one sunrise, one sunset at the South Pole each year.